Hi there, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are talking about how to safely remove ticks. My name is Sarah Hunstead. I'm a paediatric nurse and a mum of two and founder of CPI Kids. And so today, oh, ticks. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't love it when I get a tick. Like, I mean, who does? Let's be honest. But it's really, really important that you absolutely know how to remove it safely. Now, there has been a significant increase in the incidence of a mammalian meat allergy and, um, and also tick anaphylaxis in Australia. Now, the best place to get all of that information is from Tiara, and I will put the website um, in the comments for everybody who's watching on YouTube and Facebook, and I will also uh, pop it in the comments on here as well on Instagram, but you'll <coughs> just need to Google that as well, excuse me. So Tiara is the best place for all of that amazing information about mammalian meat allergy and tick-induced anaphylaxis. So you may have um, grown up with thinking that you removed a tick by getting some forceps and pulling the tick out or dropping some maybe some tea tree oil or a bit of metho on top of the tick or, um, you know, or maybe using um, the special tick remover um, apparatuses. But the problem here is, is that we want to remove the tick without disturbing it. Why? Because when a tick is disturbed, it actually squirts more of its um, allergen-containing saliva into you, which one, if you have um, anaphylaxis to a tick, that's a really big problem. Um, and it can actually, um, I'm just trying to think of the really simplest way to say this, um, but what it can do is induce some of the conditions that we've just been talking about. So we want that to, the aim of the game is not to squirt any more of that allergen containing tick saliva into our bodies or into our kid's body. That's what we want. So what are we going to do? We're not going to use any of the methods that we used to. Okay. So Dr. Cheryl Van Noonan, or I think she's Professor Cheryl Van Noonan, um, Dr. Van Noonan, Professor Van Noonan, if you're watching, I really, truly do apologise that I have gotten um, your uh, your qualification wrong. I apologise, but I know she is a doctor or a professor. Um, so what um, Professor Van Noonan says is that we need to remove the tick by killing it in situ. So what we're saying is, is kill it where it is. All right, and so there's a couple of ways that we're going to do that, and we're going to get straight into that now. First of all, what I want you to do is go to your local pharmacy if you are in a tick area or you go places where there are ticks, and Tiara has some great resources on where ticks are found and so on. Um, what I want you to do is go and purchase an ether-containing spray. So your pharmacist will be able to help you with that. So this is an ether-containing spray or it's a freezing spray, basically. The other thing that you need to get is a permethrin cream, okay? So this cream here is for the little baby ticks, so uh, the nymph ticks, and this one here is for the grown-up ticks, so the adult ticks. So let's talk about the baby ticks first, okay? Now, permeth uh, permethrin cream, sorry, it's a bit of a mouthful. What you're going to do is... Now, I've got some uh, little baby ticks right here, some nymph ticks. What you're going to do is take your permethrin cream and you are going to blob or dab that on top, okay? So we're not disturbing them, we're not scratching them, we're not doing anything like that. We are simply blob blobbing the cream on top. Now... If you watch the videos on the Tiara website, um, Cheryl Van Noonan then goes on to say that uh, she recommends to leave the cream on for an hour to an hour and a half to kill the ticks. And then she actually uses a paddle pop stick to then scrape the little nymph ticks away. You could use anything like a card or something like that. So it's something just to scrape them away. So watch the tiara video she goes into more detail than i do here but the basics of it is is that you blob that cream on top 
You then get something um, and she says around an hour to an hour and a half later and scrape off, okay? So obviously my sharpie drawn little nymph ticks are still there, um, but that's what we're doing uh, for the nymph. Now, next, the adult ticks, what are we going to do? We're going to use our freezing spray, okay? We are going to hold the freezing spray approximately one centimetre above the tick. And we are going to give five sprays. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this is just a dummy model, so um, but on a real one, you would have seen the freezing spray come out. So we're going to give that um, approximately, you know, uh, a little while, um, you know, have a look on the Tiara website. As I said, Cheryl goes into much more detail. But after a few minutes, what you're going to do is if you have a magnifying glass, you're going to get your magnifying glass and have a look. But I think what's a really good thing to have to use, actually, um, is the magnifier on your phone. Um, so you can get apps that magnify um, or you can just use the camera and you can zoom in um, have a look over the top and see if the tick's legs are still moving okay so the idea is is that you are looking to see if the tick is dead now hopefully those five sprays have killed the tick and it will just drop off by itself if it is deeply embedded if it is still there and it isn't dropping off then seek some medical help to have the tick removed because a dead tick can still squirt that allergen containing saliva as well so that's an important thing that we then don't just get the household tweezers and pull that out now if you see that the tick is still alive if you see that it is actually moving you need to give another five sprays one centimeter above the tick okay so that um, should be enough to actually kill the tick. Remember, it should just drop off by itself once it's dead. If it doesn't, then you are seeking medical help to get it removed. So in a way that doesn't squeeze. OK, really, really important. So there are lots of things that you need to do for tick prevention as well. If you live in a tick endemic area, um, please make sure you do go to the Tiara website because it's got great hints and tips on doing things like um, thinking about having your backyard treated, the kind of clothing that you need to wear. If you're going bushwalking in a tick area, doing sensible things like tucking your long pants into your socks and tucking in your shirt into your pants and things like that, making sure you've got long sleeves. Um, because as I said before, they're in Australia, we are absolutely seeing a rise in the incidence of mammalian meat allergy and tick induced anaphylaxis. And that's why we need to get that message out there of how to kill a tick safely. So in summary, okay, when it comes to the little ticks, the nymphs, we are going to dab, not grab. Okay, so all of these sayings are on the Tiara website too, so make sure you have a look. So dab, don't grab. You are going to use the permethrin cream. You're going to blob that on top and then scrape, okay? But only after, as Cheryl says on the website, um, around an hour to an hour and a half later, okay? So what do you do for the adult ticks? You are going to freeze, don't squeeze, okay? So this one centimetre above the tick, five sprays, wait five minutes or so, check. If the tick is still moving, then what you're going to do is give another five sprays. Hopefully the tick will just drop off by itself. If it is deeply embedded, remember, dead ticks can absolutely still, um, uh, if you squeeze them, they're going to inject that uh, allergen containing saliva so it's really important that we are not squeezing the tick on removal really really important so you can seek medical help all right thank you so much for joining everyone does anybody have any questions now i do know that we have just gotten some questions on facebook at the moment so let's have a look there so chrissy has asked how do you stop little kids picking them out before you even realize they have a tick that's really tricky um, great question, Chrissy. It is so hard. Um, so because, of course, um, one of the things is, is that if we are scratching 
where the tick is, that is going to irritate it and it is going to inject more of that um, allergen-containing saliva. So, um, you know what, I don't have an answer on how to get little, little ones um, to uh, not scratch if they have a tick. Um, I don't know how you would get a one or a two-year-old not to do it. I really don't. I think it's one of those things that if you know that you're in a tick area that you check them as really regularly, um, particularly if you know that it's tick season, those sorts of things make it part of your routine. Um, and the older ones, so the older kids, not the older ticks, <laughs> the older kids, um, really educating them on that. So knowing that if they feel a bit itchy, if they have a look, that they don't scratch anything that they can't see, um, they have a look if they think that they've got a tick and show them, show them pictures so that they understand, um, show them that the first thing they need to do is to come to you because the ticks have to come out a special way. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's amazing how much kids really do understand um, and I think that's just one of the things that as once they get old enough and that's going to be an individual child, it's, you know, I can't give you an age there, um, then as soon as they can understand that, really educating them that if they, you know, they do think that they have a tick, then they need to come to mum or dad or grandma or the teacher or whoever rather than picking them out. And it's just about explaining that the ticks do have to come out a special way um, so that we get the whole tick out and so on. Okay, so yeah, but the little kids, anybody with suggestions on how to get a, you know, a little toddler um, not to scratch where a tick is, please let us know um, because, yeah, that is one of the super trickiest things um, and, yeah, just keep keep checking them okay sorry i wish i had a miraculous answer to be able to say that but chrissy that was a great question okay now i will just have a little look see if we've got any other questions while we're at it no i don't think so so thank you so much everyone for joining us on this live today now um please remember DM us with anything that you would like us to talk about. That's why we are here. And please visit the Tiara website. They are the best people to have a look at for everything to do with ticks, especially how to safely remove them. So please go take a look. Okay. Bye, everyone. Mm.